Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, May 18th, 2021, and Bitcoin still making noise out there. Oil making uh, close to highs. I'm going to show you how to take advantage of some of this. Hi, my name is Jeff Tomasulo. I'm the co-founder of tacticalincome.com and CEO of Vespula Capital Management. If you like what you see on these videos, please subscribe to our channel. Now, let's get to my computer screens and let's get to work. All right, guys, let's get started and let's get to work. It is Tuesday, May 18th, 2021. It is about 8.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I want to bring up some, uh, we'll talk about the market real quick. There's some earnings that came out today in Home Depot, Walmart, uh, Bio, uh, BioDu came out, I think. Yes, BioDu came out this, this uh, I think, last night. They're trading up, but one thing that we're seeing in the 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 markets right now is that the S and P's up a little bit, the Nasdaq's up a little bit, and rut. Nothing really major going on. We saw a little bit of a rally into the close yesterday in the Nasdaq, but again, the Nasdaq has been the weakest. Right? We've seen that the Nasdaq has been having trouble uh rallying right compared to the dow which is in a is very close to its all-time high the s p which is very close uh or you know close to its all-time high but if this market starts to roll over again if we don't get the momentum to grab on and to try to get to those all-time highs we can sit here for a little bit or we can roll back over which would be really bad and i want you guys just to keep an eye on that and uh you know that hey if this starts to fail if we start to see weakness this you know stocks can sell off that's why you have to be very careful i've been talking about this over and over to you guys i've talked about this to our subscribers at tactical income is that capital allocation is very key so if you're going to put new trades on right now just be aware of what the overall market is doing and then also be aware of where the money is flowing. We talked about this a little last week. I love using this on a tactical income trading platform, which you get in your subscription service. Um, you know, when you sign up to become a tactical income subscriber, I have a link in uh, the description below. It's right now you can try all this out for $49 for the next 30 days. Um, but you can see what I like is where you can see where the where what is performing, where the money's flowing. Yesterday, energy was huge, right? Basic materials were up in the S&P 500. Consumer service or communication services were down almost 2%. And you can see this across the board. If you go to the, the Russell, you'll see that uh, basic materials and, and energy was up big in that indice. You can see the NASDAQ, which was the weakest. And you can see where everything else, the healthcare and uh, industrials were up in the NASDAQ 100. But it gives you an idea of where the money is flowing and we saw that a lot in energy. And when you look at the energy, you look at the USO, right? This is, uh, you know, oil, right? Oil has been, you know, in this nice major trend since uh, November of last year. You could see that it had this, it tried to break down, right? And it didn't. And you could see this is the type of pattern that you like to see. And again, guys, when you're trying to learn and you're trying to find patterns that work, right? This is the stuff that you need to look at, right? And now you try to apply this to other uh, other stocks, other uh, asset classes out there. You can see when you start to see that it breaks down and pops right back up, tries to break down, pops right back up. That's a clue, right? That this could be going higher. And you can see here, listen, it tried to fail. It goes back up. And we've seen this in the NASDAQ over the last, I don't know how many years you've seen the S&P, you see it in certain stocks, until that pattern starts to change, you know you should be leaning to the to the uh, upside, right? Following this uh, trend, then more so to the downside. Now, if this would have broke, and then you see rallies being sold, which we've seen this happen in Tesla, we've seen this happen in so many different stocks over the 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 past few months, where you would have to switch your mindset and switch the type of strategies that you would be using to take advantage of that. So, um, you know, this is something to obviously keep in mind. I like the way uh, oil is, is heading. It's, it still looks like it's going to go higher. 
you know, it's a little extended, uh, you know, in, in my blood to be buying a position here. But you know what would be a, a very easy uh, position to put on is a call spread, right? You put a defined risk trade on. You try to, you know, you try to take advantage of maybe a breakout to all-time highs in oil. Um, you're seeing this in the XOP, which is uh, another ETF that you can use. Very similar to the USO. Uh, this one had a much deeper down move, not as much of a consolidation, and then obviously turned right back around. Now looking like it's going to try to break out of its all-time high. Um, but it's this is something that I would also be watching to see if it fails up here. And same thing in the USO, right? You could put you know the call spread on, but hey, if it fails, this might be an opportunity where you'll you'll be able to trade off of wherever that failure is if you think oil will you know uh you know go back down or have somewhat of a correction uh over the next few months right there's two they, i always try to get you guys to see both sides of a trade and you could actually put on both sides of these trades um if you if you're seeing it the way you know that you know if it works out that way like by putting a call spread on here it doesn't work out you could be short in the uh, the the stock outright and with a stop on wherever this uh, high was. And just try to, you know, follow that. Um, I, I, you know, to me, I like doing those type, th those type of trades. So, uh, oil, one of the things that um, I messed up on yesterday, we talked about uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin being down huge. It's trying to rally a little bit from the bottom. It went down all the way to 42,000. Um, which is the low here, whatever the low here, on this, uh, the GBTC, which is the ETF, which is the 3376. It's trading at 3650. Um, on the futures, it's trading at 40. It was up to almost 45, over above 45,000 today. It's obviously struggling a little bit, not having the big move that you would think after the the down move that it's had over the uh, over the past week and especially yesterday. Um, but with that said. One of the things that I should have said yesterday to you guys and I'm saying today, when you have big down moves, you need to go and look at the other stocks where there's going to be other opportunities like Riot, right? This is a stock that uh, that had a massive move with Bitcoin starting to, you know, it's selling off, right? Square, this is another stock that was benefited from, uh, from Bitcoin, uh, Marathon Digital Holdings. You know, you can see all these stocks have gotten beaten up. The other one, which is should be on here, is MSTR, right? You know, there was a lot of hype about them. Very similar to Tesla owning a bunch of uh, of their cash in in Bitcoin. Um, you know, these stocks are gonna. There's gonna be opportunities. So if you can't trade Bitcoin, look at these stocks, right? Because a lot of these stocks have options on it. Right. There are going to be opportunities for you to do that. And anytime you see right, this is a great thing to do because you're going to find opportunities. Our goal is to find as many opportunities as we can. So then we can apply strategies, whether they're option strategies, stock strategy, like, you know, directional trades. And you're going to try to find the strategies where you can then allocate capital. And then you, what you want to do after that is you want to find how you are going to uh, when you're trying to pick a strategy, you're looking to see how much the, the least amount of money that you can risk to make the most amount of money, right? That's your ultimate goal to find the strategies that's going to allow you to do that. And by doing this, by finding all these different um, stocks and asset classes that are affected by another asset class or another stock or a stock within that industry is going to give you the more opportunities where you can find those great setups or have multiple setups on to take advantage and multiple strategies to take advantage of whether Bitcoin rallies or it continues to go down or whatnot, but you will be able to make really good decisions and have the opportunities to make the money. And if we look at Square, you can see, uh, you know, just by looking on the chart, it's coming down to, I would say, a pretty good uh, area of support. And, you know, it's come down here a bunch of times, like one, two, three, four, five times, and it hasn't broken through this area. This is going to be, a, I, I would say, a pivotal uh, point um, for Square, right? If Square breaks down through here, could go a lot lower. You could see the 180 handle. You could see 160, depending on how bad it gets in, in Bitcoin. 
Um, you know, what what can you do if you think it, you know, um, you could be buying put spreads, right? That would be one of the things that I would do. Um, if you think it's going down here, you could be buying square, right? You could be buying, you could buy the put spread thinking it could go lower. You could buy square outright with a stop underneath the 192 spot 21, 29. You could give yourself a little more room at 191.36. Um, you know, again, these are not high probability trades, but you, what you're trying to do is you're trying to find a little bit of clues. Now, you could also sit back and just watch and see how the this stock uh, reacts, and then you know you can get back involved in Square at that point in time, right? Um, a lot of people like to wait for an up move and then see what the next down move looks like. But right now, there's it's giving you a few opportunities to put on uh, a few different trades, either to the downside or the upside. I'm sure Riot. You know, this one has been beaten up pretty good, but 20 level looks right off the bat. I look at the 20 level, um, you know, area and you can see that it stopped here, rallied up, tried to come back down, trying to rally. The key would be, hey, you could buy a breakout above the 2680. You could buy it right now with a stop under the 20 spot 68. Again, not a high probability trade because, you know, you have a weakness in the, you know, um, the Bitcoin, but if Bitcoin starts to rally, I could see this stock starting to starting to move back up. But again, you're in a downward trend, right? You could use a defined risk trade by buying a, a call spread in here. Um, you would have to look at the calls. I don't like buying calls. People ask me all this all the time. It calls to me. I have to be right about the direction and the timing of that direction. Time decay is going to work against me. That's why I like to use. Um, call spreads but you know again you're up you're you're limiting your upside which i am fine with because i'll put you know i'll make whatever 50 percent on that trade and i'll move on and look for the next now you know a lot of people don't like that but again i'm trying to eliminate a lot of what you know calls right the negative the negative stuff about calls i'm trying to turn that to uh, i'm trying to turn the strategies around and use the strategies that benefit me over you know in different scenarios right and that's why we like to sell options a lot because we're turning what why people lose a lot of money in options is because of time decay and not being right about direction well when i sell options and i use certain strategies i'm taking all those negatives and i'm turning it uh to be positive for me and we teach this to all our subscribers we teach them different the different processes and the the way to trade with an edge right a mathematical edge um, which will help you become more consistent. So look at that link that I put, um, you know, in uh, in the description below. We will help you become more consistent by trading with an edge. So um, those are a few things there. I want you to keep an eye on Tesla down at a really key level. Again, looks very similar to to Square. You know, you're at this area of uh, support. The problem is, again, does Tesla break through? It's down another, you know, seven points today, uh, down 1.38%. Just a lot going on. The stock, what I say about the difference is, remember, you had an up move, down move, always bought, always bought, and then something changed in here. Every move has been sold. It's tried to break out, you know, to go to, you know, back up into that uptrend. It can't. Now, if it breaks, it's, you know, if it breaks this, you know, you're seeing that it is in, a downtrend until something changes it's really hard to try to you know keep a long-term long position on or have a long bias here you could put it like i said you could put a uh a, 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 a long trade here but very small and 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 you know in tight stops uh but there are there's some opportunities in there you're going to find that all over the place um those are a couple uh, ideas. Also, gold and silver have been, we've talked about this. I mean, I talked about this a bunch of weeks ago, how we thought it was going higher. It is. We've made a lot of money in gold and silver. You could see that something is, you know, changed. You got silver looking like it's going to, you know, break out. Um, it's hard to do anything here because, again, it's starting to get a little extended. I'd love to see silver consolidate so I could get bigger. You know, we've taken sales into this up move. I would love to to see silver consolidate to go higher it doesn't look like it's going to do that. I would be watching, you know, uh, these for a pullback and see how they react in pullbacks. Um, so I hope 
this video helped you guys and give you guys some, uh, you know, ideas and thoughts uh, and some techniques to apply to other things that I'm not showing you in the morning, which I will, I, I think you can to make a lot of money. Uh, oh, one last, I forgot about Home Depot. Home Depot came out with earnings and so did Walmart uh, and Biodu, right? They are, you know, Biodu, you know, it's holding this level down here, 175. It broke through, you know, but this is not a bad setup, right, that you could trade off of. Right. And now today, what I want to see is how the stock holds up during after earnings. Right. Does it sell off with the market after reporting earnings? If that does, that's a bad sign. If it holds up there here, this could be a really good sign. And then you have somewhere to trade off of like, again, buying call spreads, buying the stock outright. Um, but if it starts to fail, I'd be very concerned that it could break through the 175 area. Um, but so today is, I think in the next few days is going to be critical, uh, on this stock, you see Walmart trading up at 143, hard to do anything right here. Yeah. Again, what I, I would love to see a pullback and, you know, a, you know, fall back into this consolidation and then a move higher. Um, and I always do that to you guys. I, I apologize for that. Um, but you know, Walmart is really, to me, really tough if you're not in it already to do anything today. Uh, and then Home Depot, which had a massive move, sold off hard, and now it's trading up about two and a half, uh, two and a quarter percent. You know, to me, over you know, again, really tough to do anything here. Over three thirty, I'd be interested in seeing. But over the next few days, I want to see because right there, that was a blow off top. So I don't see, you know, it'd be, I'd be shocked if I see Walmart, I mean, Home Depot go back to its highs anytime soon. Uh, but I'm going to watch this uh, and put alerts in over to 330, put alerts down here at uh, 320, and then watch it every day to see how it behaves uh, over the next few days and few weeks. All right, guys, I'm going to end this. I hope that helped. And remember, check out the link. Our subscription service includes not only the platform, but you get trade alerts. Every time I place a trade in the hedge fund uh, with options, you get that sent directly to your cell phone. It helps you learn our process. Then we have two coaching calls a week, one on Monday with the head of our education, the other with uh, my partner and I on Thursday going over all our trades, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything you need that we do. We try to go over everything. We take your questions um, to make you a better trader. That's what we're trying to help you do and become more consistent. You get access to our proprietary algorithm, the vol meter. It's like a heat seeking missile that helps you pinpoint the stocks and asset classes that have a higher probability of profit and a higher probability of success. It also helps you pinpoint this, uh, the option strategies you should be using. Um, you know, when, uh, when the vol meter is telling you what option strategies you should use, you also get a watch list every week. Uh, on a Sunday night, all the stocks and asset classes that we believe are going to have the big move. So you guys can follow those assets and stocks. Um, and then you get access to the, uh, our proprietary, uh, the, the, the software gives you everything from news to fundamental analysis to charting. But more importantly, it's so easy to, um, to place option trades and trades where a lot of uh, systems are um, cumbersome. And then lastly, you get zero to trade in, in tw uh, 20, zero to trade in 21 days. It's our video series gives you everything you need and the support of learning how to be, you know, place your first trade. It's for, it's awesome. And goes over a lot of the strategies, the basic strategies that we use that you guys should be using. Um, uh, you got to check it out. Uh, invaluable on so many different levels. And you get all of that for $49 right now for the next 30 days and then $197 thereafter. So guys, remember, when trading, trade with an edge, and I'll talk to you guys soon.